Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, we're talking about the power of God. How the power of God is conducted. How, how it goes from the spiritual realm into a person to affect change. It's a wonderful thing. This power of God. I'm telling you what. Folks, understand this power. And you, and there's nothing you can't have. Hmm? Hey, say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because I get results and because I'm available. Hmm? I get results. Oh my goodness. Oh, hallelujah, huh? Glory to God. Make sure you call me today if you did your offerings and donations yesterday because yesterday was offering day. And I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you and cause the power of God to bring the blessing upon you. And I will break the power of the devil in your life too. You cannot be blessed by God if the devil is working in your life. So I get the devil out and I get the blessing of God in. It makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference in your life to have the power of the devil gone and the blessing of the Lord there, huh? So make sure you call me today, especially when you do your offerings and donations. And please share this video with everybody you know. If you know somebody who is sick, tell them to call Pastor Jim. If you know of somebody who is sick, tell them to call Pastor Jim. Or get them this book. There's been a lot of people around the country that have received one of these books in the mail. And then they call me and they get healed. If you send one of those books, if you go on Amazon and get one of those books, How to Be Healed by God, and you send it to somebody and they get healed, I got news for you. I'll tell you what's going to happen to you. You are going to get credit for this at the judgment seat of Christ. The judgment seat of Christ is a reward ceremony. Do you want to get called out? If you support somebody who's doing the work of the Lord, you're going to get called out. And you're going to receive that same reward. If you get somebody healed, and especially if that person who needs healing gets saved, you're going to get credit for a soul. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. You know, we're going to get credit for this. You know, what we do down here does, does not go unnoticed. Hmm? I want to show you something in Ephesians. Now, look at this. This fell out of my book, out of my Bible, because I spent so much time in Galatians and Ephesians that it just <clears throat> fell out. Paul says, uh, this is what I pray over myself every day, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, that's Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give unto you, and I, I change that and make it unto me, would give unto me the spirit of wisdom. I want God's wisdom, folks. And I have God's wisdom to a degree. I'll, I'll tell you what, we have not made a mistake in the last 12 years. Everything we have done has worked out for us in the last 12 years because we haven't made a mistake. And in 12 years, we have gone from not from struggling to pay our bills to having everything we own paid for, including our cars, our house, our airplane, and money in the bank. I make no bones about it. I'm not the least bit embarrassed to tell you God has blessed us. I'll tell you why he's blessed us, because of wisdom and because of the blessing. So ask God every day for that spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom will make you rich. Tells us that riches and honor are in her, her left hand. Long life is in her right hand. You want to live a long time? Get wisdom. Amen. People with wisdom don't die young. The Bible says that. Long life 
is in her right hand. So, and revelation, knowledge of God's word, I'm telling you, there's nothing more precious than to be able to understand God's word. Why do you think I write all these books? Because I ask God every single day for revelation knowledge of his word. If you get revelation knowledge and it's not in the Bible, it ain't revelation knowledge. Paul says that I, I ask, I speak that over you, that the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened, that would you know you would know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance for the saints. Paul wants you to have a revelation of your inheritance. When you know what your inheritance is, you'll become very difficult for the devil to deal with. Because when you know you've got something coming to you, when something has been left to you in an inheritance, you will fight for it. And that's what you need to do. You fight the good fight of faith for it. Now look what he says in verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who have faith according to this, to the working of this power? It, in order to use God's power, to conduct God's power, you have to have faith in God's power. Two main things that I have faith in. Number one, faith in the name of Jesus. I have great faith in the name of Jesus. And number two, I have great faith in the power of God. That's why I get miracle after miracle after miracle. Constant flow of miracles. Not only in my life, but in the lives of all of our partners, the people in our church, people who call me, people call me out of the blue. We just had a three month old baby healed from a terrible, terrible illness. The people called me, they were just beside themselves for what the power of God had done for them. But the power of God was directed into that baby. And that power of God healed that baby. And we give God all the glory. In the name of Jesus, all the credit, all the glory. But it had to be directed. If somebody had to cause it to happen, in that case, it was me. I did that. And I praise God that, that I've developed my faith to the point where I can do that. It's an amazing thing. It's absolutely amazing to be able to cause God's power. God's power is like electricity. It's like radio waves. You know, I got a, right around the corner, I got a radio sitting there. I don't use it too much. But it's there. And right now, there is no sound coming out of it. But if I go around that corner and I turn that radio on, it will, it will make a demand on the power. It will make a demand on the waves that you can't see. The radio waves that are in this house, you can't see them, but they're here. That radio will make a demand on those, it's got an antenna on it, make a demand on those, those radio waves and cause those radio waves to come into that radio, convert them into a voice and for music and something that you can hear. And what we do is we cause this power of God which is hovering over this room right now. It's hovering over the world right now. It hovered over the face of the deep in Genesis chapter one until God said, let light be. And when God said, light be, this power caused the light to happen. And this power of the Holy Spirit is hovering over the world right now, waiting for somebody to say something, to direct it, to make it move, to cause it to happen, to put it in a certain place where there is a need. And when it is directed into that person, 
I, I have a friend right now who is suffering from a terrible form of cancer. And he won't reach out. But if he does, I will direct the power of God into him to heal him of that. I've done that a bunch of times. I mean, I can't tell you how many times. Thousands of times. I've done that over a crowd of thousands of people at one time. I will cause that power to come upon these people just through a simple command in the name of Jesus. And these people all over the building get healed because of that power. That's what T.L. Osborne did that year. He was doing that back in the 40s. In the early 50s, he was doing that with, with crowds of, of that numbered in 100,000. He was getting these people healed all at one time. Through the power in the name of Jesus, I'm not the first one to do it by any means. Jesus himself, I believe, was doing what we call mass healings. Because there was 5,000 people, men plus women and children around Jesus. And it says, he healed them all. He could not possibly have healed those people one at a time. He'd have been there for years. I believe, and I'll ask him when I get there. So I don't know this for sure. I'm just telling you now I'm now I'm not talking scripturally. I'm telling you what I think. I think he healed them all at one time. And I'm going to find out because when I get to heaven, I will ask him, I'll say, Lord, did you heal those people all at one time? We know you healed a bunch of them individually, but that was there occasions when you healed crowds all at one time? I'm going to ask him that. I have a whole list of things to ask the Lord when I get to heaven. I should try to keep that list with me in case the rapture comes, I can take it with me. I'd hate to go and get up there and not have my list. It's like going to the store and you forgot your list. And you've all done that. I don't want to get to heaven and forget my list. I want to ask Jesus. I got a lot of questions. I got questions for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I got questions for Elijah. I got questions for the disciples. I got a lot of questions. There's a lot of things I don't know. If I don't know something, I want to know. But it tells us when we get to heaven, we'll know everything. So maybe we'll have classes on this. I don't know. I don't know how this works. There's a lot I don't know. But I do know that God's word works. And I do know that the power in the name of Jesus is unlimited immeasurable and there's nothing it can't do jesus said to the to the man with the, the epileptic son he said all things are possible to them that believe believe in what in those days they had to believe in him now we have to believe in his name his name now causes miracles folks just like when he was here he caused the miracles now his name causes miracles. Glory to God. Get a hold of this. You call me. I'll prove to you that the name of Jesus will cause miracles for you. I'm, I'm not the least bit shy about telling people that the other day, I uh, last week one day, I said, I'll prove it for you. And a few called. Some called. People said, I'm going to take you up on that offer. I said, okay, what do you need? What do you, I'm not the least bit shy about it. I am very confident in my ability to use that name and to make things happen for people. Tell everybody you know about this video. Tell everybody you know about me and my, give them my phone number. And if they need have needs, if they're sick or they're broke, tell them to call me. I'll use the power in the name of Jesus to turn their life around. Just like the power in the name of Jesus turned my life around. I want to use it to help other people. Huh? Make sure you call me today if you did your offerings and donations yesterday because I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you. You have a wonderful weekend. I love you more than I can ever tell you. I am determined that you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life and I will use the power of God to make it happen.